My friends, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, I am reviewing a Helicon Tex poncho that I've been testing out for the last six months. This is the Helicon Tex poncho US model, and this is part of their surplus line. In this episode, I'm going to share the pros and cons about this product. I'm gonna share with you my experiences while using it for over the last six months. And we're going to talk about the surplus line aspect and what that means. So folks, let's go ahead and get started now. So this is the poncho itself. You receive the storage bag. It has a draw pull at the top. Before I open this up, let's go over the dimensions of the stuff sack here. This is 8.6 inches by roughly five and a half inches wide. So overall, this is a small form factor and we might as well talk about the weight. You're looking at 1.2 pounds for this poncho with the storage bag. So this is a very lightweight product. Here's a poncho. So with this poncho here, folks, this is a one size fits all model. It is available in numerous colors. You have black, two shades of green, two shades of woodland camo, and the dimensions for this, when it's completely unfolded, is 82 and a half inches by 57 inches. When it's folded in the poncho form, 57 inches by 40 inches long. Now consider those measurements, everyone. Roughly 40 inches long from the shoulder down to the bottom. As I step back, everyone, I want you all to pay close attention to how this fits me and just how much area is not protected by this poncho. So look down at my feet. You could see there's a lot of area here that I'm not protected, and that's because this is a very small size poncho. As far as height goes, I'm roughly 5'5". Five five. I'm not a tall guy by any means. And even for me, this poncho is a little bit short. It doesn't offer me full protection. So consider the measurements, the dimensions of this product before you go out to purchase it if you're interested. This poncho is made from 100% polyester. The seams on this poncho have been taped, and it does feature a hood. The hood itself, as you can see, is rather tall and pointy. There is no adjustment that you can make to this hood here. Also, when it comes to this neck hole, this is quite small. This is quite small. And we'll talk about this in a little bit more detail in just a minute. Speaking of the neck hole here, you do have full adjustment, so you can pull this tighter if you want to. On the sides, you have snaps. So you can open this up. You can make arm holes. You can open it up fully if you want to. The same applies on the other side. Pulling this back, you could use this cordage here to wrap this around you so that this doesn't really flap around in the breeze. So let's say that you're hiking through the woods, you can pull this nice and tight. And from there, you don't have to worry about this material getting snagged on trees, branches, and so on. The poncho can be strung up and used as a tarp. And also with these snaps, you can connect multiple ponchos together if that's something that you wanna do. In each of the corners, you have grommets. Also, you have grommets in the center, long ways and on the sides. When using the poncho as a tarp, you can use the collar adjustment to cinch that up to make it more waterproof there in the center. I've spoken about this product being part of the surplus line with Helicon Tex. So let me explain what that is. Basically what the company's done is this. They've taken very popular military surplus products and they've created a new line of products that are modeled after those surplus items. This happens to be one of these items in this collection. This is modeled after the US military poncho. The most important word out of everything that I said there is modeled because this is not an exact replica of that poncho. In fact, there's quite a bit of difference between this poncho and the US military version. We'll come back to the surplus aspect in just a minute, but now let's focus on the company's claims about this product and let's discuss whether or not those are accurate, whether or not they're true. So the company says this is rainproof and yes, it absolutely is. I've had absolutely no leaking from this product. They say that it's quick drying and yes, that's also true. They go on to say that it's lightweight and it can be folded down rather small. All of those claims are accurate. As far as the claims go that the company makes, that's pretty much it. Of course, they give some other details, but those are the most important ones. Now let's move over to the pros for this product. The first pro that I have for this poncho is the overall quality. The quality is good for the money. There's no issues when it comes to the stitching. All of the seam tape looks great. Overall, the fit and finish of this is very good. This is a good military style poncho, but don't get me wrong, this is not a military product. 
This is not as strong, it's not as waterproof, it's not as durable, it's not as big as the US military version. The overall quality of this poncho is better than most of like the cheap Chinese ponchos that you can get, but it's not military quality by any means. It is waterproof as I mentioned before. I've had no leaking from this. I've been out in tropical storms last year, again, with no leaking at all. Oftentimes, I've been outside for over two hours in the rain and I've had no issues. Overall, the design of this poncho is very simple. It's easy to deploy, easy to put up. Next, folks, the price of this poncho is fair. The retail price is $35. Do not overpay for this poncho. We'll come back to that. The next pro for this poncho is the neck hole. It is quite a bit smaller than the military variant, and that means it allows less water to ingress inside of the poncho itself. The hood is also quite a bit smaller but at the same time offers good protection. Another pro for this poncho is that it can be used with a Swagman roll. Think of it as a sort of poncho liner. It's quite a bit different than the military version, the Whoopi, but it is a nice product. Check out my review of it if you're interested. This is lightweight. It's very compact. The storage bag is included and it's big enough to easily fit this poncho. I like the fact that this could be used as a tarp and I also like the fact that you can connect multiple ponchos together. And those are the pros, my friends. Now let's focus on the cons because there are quite a few to mention here. Con number one deals with the surplus line of products that Helicon offers. That is more marketing gimmick than anything else. You could say this is modeled after the military poncho, but this is far away from being a replica of that product. The materials are different. This is polyester, whereas the military version was nylon. Nylon is stronger. This is a less expensive material. The size of this is quite a bit smaller than the military version. And that's a huge con for this poncho. Overall, this poncho does not give you full protection. I have seen other channels that are in bed with Helicon Techs talk about how this offers full protection. That's not true. You can see right here just how much of my legs are sticking out. This offers you a lot of protection, but it's not complete. And the taller that you are, the less protection you're given. When comparing this poncho to the military version, this is four inches shorter than the military version. As far as width goes, it's also about four inches less. That is quite a bit, not only for protection when you're wearing this as a poncho, but when using this as a tarp. When using this as a tarp, this is extremely small. I mean, you would have to basically use this as a bivy, just lay it right over the top of you because if you raise it up, you will get wet. It's that small. Because of the odd sizing of this poncho, it will not work with military accessories such as the poncho liner. The poncho liner simply is too long and sticks out of the bottom, so it does not work. If you want a poncho liner, you have to buy the Swagman Roll. And that's a shame because the Swagman Roll, while an excellent product, it is expensive. Whereas a poncho liner, very, very cheap. Going back to the neck hold, this is very small. And while that keeps a lot of rain out, if you have a big head, this is going to be difficult to get on. I'm a fairly small guy. I have a small head and it just barely fits through this hole. So if you have a big cranium, you may have issues with this poncho. I've already mentioned the cost of this product. $34 is the retail price. In my opinion, that's very much fair. Now you have to be careful because there are numerous sellers out there who are reselling this product for a huge markup. On Amazon, these go for about 50 bucks, with some sellers selling these for as high as $70. $34, I would pay that for this poncho. Any more than that, I would not. You have to keep in mind that this is a polyester poncho. This is very simple, it's very small. It is not worth more than 40 bucks. This polyester material is not worth more than $40. I would not pay 50 bucks for this. I would not pay $70 for this. I mean, you can go out and find a military poncho for much less. That's going to be more waterproof. It's going to be larger. It could be used with a poncho liner. It could be used as a tarp, a true tarp. You could set this up as a tarp, but it's not really going to offer you much protection as far as like snow or rain. Sun protection, yes. Some wind protection, yes, but that's about it. The last con that I have for this product are the side snaps. You really have to be careful with these. You have to consider that this is a polyester poncho. Also, it's a very inexpensive poncho. These snaps are known for being delicate. I've seen plenty of reports of people tearing these out. I've had no issues so far, but I have babied these. Be very careful, be gentle, pull them apart very easily. Don't do it at drastic angles. Otherwise, you could tear these up or you could rip the fabric. If you go looking online, you will find a ton of reports from users who have purchased this, who have ripped these snaps out, so be careful. And with that con, we can move over to the summary. Overall, for $34, I like this poncho. It really has served me well. Again, keep in mind that this is a small, lightweight poncho. It's very compact. Again, everyone, the whole surplus line, that's really just marketing nonsense. This is modeled after the US military poncho, but this is not the same thing. It's not the same ballpark. It's not the same realm. 
This is a civilian product through and through. It's not military grade by any means. Pay close attention to the measurements. Will this work for you? Again, this is a short poncho. I mean, it really is. I mean, you can see here just how short this is. You can see how much is exposed down at the bottom. It's something that you need to keep in mind. For taller individuals, you will be more exposed with this poncho. And honestly, for taller individuals, I would not recommend this. If you're on the shorter side, yes. If you're going to be outside in some light rain, then I guess you can make it work. But if you're out in truly nasty conditions and you're taller, I would not recommend this. This is simply too short, too short. Everyone, that pretty much wraps it up. What do you all think about this poncho? What do you all think about the price? And what do you all think about the size? Let me ask you all this. Why do you think Helicontex made this poncho so short? I'm a little bit confused by that. I'm not a tall guy by any means, and yet, this doesn't offer me full protection, so yeah. That wraps it up for this episode. Hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. You can support the Outdoor Gear Review here on YouTube or on Patreon. You can join the Wolfpack. I purchased this product so you don't have to. I can test this out agenda free and I can let you know the pros and cons. That's what this channel is all about. That's what the Wolfpack is all about. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, be well, strength and honor.